Welcome to StockSync. Today, we're focusing on updating products in your store using the Google Sheet connection method. Click on New Setup. Then select Update Existing Products in Store to begin creating your feed. Confirm your choice to proceed with setting up your product update feed. This step lays the foundation for the changes you'll be making. Choose the Google Sheet connection method. To get started, Fill up the shared link with the URL of your Google Sheets feed file. To obtain this link, navigate to your Google Sheets document and ensure you're on the desired sheet. The URL should end with hash GID followed by a number. For example, your link might look like this. Remember to add stock syncappspot.gservicecount.com with editor permission without making the file accessible to anyone with the link. Specify the sheet name for any sheet other than Sheet 1. If you're working with multiple sheets, you can separate them by commas or use sheet indexes, like 0, 1, 2, 3. By default, the first row header option is disabled. Enable this if your feed file includes a header row. Proceed to the matching column step by clicking Next. Here, the essential field is the product identifier typically the SKU. Map this and any other fields you need to update, such as price and quantity. For detailed instructions, you can refer to our dedicated tutorials on price and quantity fields. Filter step to include or exclude certain products. For example, you might want to exclude products labeled cycle. In the final step, set your preferences for auto-publishing or hiding products and decide on your out-of-stock strategy. For more in-depth guidance, check out our advanced settings for update feed video. Click Finish to complete the setup. You're now ready to run the process and start updating products in your store. Thank you for choosing StockSync. We hope this tutorial enhances your experience with update feed making your store management more efficient.